Tundra Lake's catchment area is about 10 times the size of the estuary itself. It's an intermittently closed and open lake or lagoon, or ice hole. It's predominantly open to the ocean, but generally protected from ocean storms by a sand beach berm that stops ocean waves from penetrating into the estuary. Under normal conditions, Tundra Lakes has a surface area of around 80 square kilometres, with an average depth of 2.1 metres. The normal water level is perched above sea level. Water flows into the lake at high tide and out at low tide. The volume of water flowing in and out each day is so small compared to the large volume of the lakes that the normal tidal range within the lake is typically about one centimetre and the lake isn't considered to be tidal. During a flood, stream flows from the catchment can fill Tugra lakes to high levels. As floodwaters rise, the water flowing out of the lake at each low tide becomes faster and more powerful, washing away sand at the beach berm, making the channel wider. However, at each high tide, water still flows back into the lake when the ocean level is higher than the lake level, especially when combined with waves. Council has flood records in Tugra Lakes dating back over 90 years. Since then, we have had 12 floods, reaching a height of 1.5 metres or more in the lake. The highest on record is June 1949, when it reached 2.1 metres. The recent February 2020 flood reached a height of 1.67 metres, and it's the sixth highest on record, followed closely by June 2007, known as the Pasha Bulka flood at 1.65 metres. Prior to the February 2020 flood, the entrance channel was open. The width at the narrowest point of the entrance channel was 40 metres measured at mid-tide. The east coast low brought heavy rain from Thursday the 6th to Sunday the 9th. An average of 440 millimetres of rain fell on the catchment, which is equivalent to 50,000 Olympic swimming pools. This rainwater made its way into the lake and produced a flood from Saturday to Thursday, peaking on Monday the 10th at 1.67 metres. At that time, the entrance channel had both deepened and widened to 90 metres, damaging the foreshore infrastructure on the south side of the channel along Marine Parade. The duration of the flood was prolonged by large waves and high tides. The flood coincided with very large ocean storm waves, from Friday to Tuesday penetrating the channel and running over the sand spit, even at low tide. The peak wave size was measured off the coast on Sunday at 14 metres from peak to trough, which is the height of a five-storey building. The flood also coincided with spring tides associated with a full moon. The Bureau of Meteorology issued a severe weather warning for the highest tide of the year at the flood peak on Tuesday morning, February 11. An attempt to dig a second channel on Sunday 9th of February 2020 was unsuccessful because high seas and large wave run-up wouldn't allow the still rising floodwaters to run out. Council closely monitored the prevailing conditions and at low tide on Tuesday afternoon, when ocean conditions had started to ease, machinery was deployed and the channel was successfully realigned to the north, relieving the erosion impacts along the southern foreshore. In flood-prone areas around Tugra Lakes, Council has for decades been ensuring the minimum habitable floor levels for all new development are at 2.7 metres above sea level. This is set 0.5 metres above the 1 in 100 year flood level, which is over 1 metre higher than the February 2020 peak flood level. Council strategies to manage flood risk in Tugra Lakes are set out in the Tugra Lakes Floodplain Risk Management Plan, which is available on Council's website. Council is working on several initiatives to manage flood risk in collaboration with the Bureau of Meteorology and the State Emergency Service. These initiatives include land use planning controls, infrastructure planning, entrance management procedure, adaption planning for foreshore suburbs, flood awareness education, and emergency management planning.